My name is Rich Birdsall, and I've always had a fascination for places that have been empty for a very long time. The inhabitants of these buildings left years ago, so I figured it was my turn to walk back inside. This is a bad me, Rich Birdsall. Hey, it's Rich Birdsall. I decided to take three days off and go hang out in Maryland at Ocean City. And uh, while I was on Ocean Gateway, I found something that's a little bit abandoned. I don't know if you can see all that or not, but that is a sign for the Shore Drive-In Theater. On vacation and shooting another episode of Abandoned. In 1954, one of the best hangouts in Ocean City opened. It was the perfect place for a first date, a night out on the town, some fun with the kids, or a scary and suspenseful movie. It was The Shore Drive-In. The Shore Drive-In was built during the peak of the drive-in popularity in the United States. In 1954, there were nearly 4,000 drive-ins covering the U.S. from coast to coast. The Shore Drive-In closed in 1976, a year before I was even born, but the remnants of the large 500 parking spot theater still remain. If you've driven down Route 50 in Ocean City, Maryland, you've probably seen the dilapidated drive-in sign peeking through the overgrown bush on the eastbound side of the highway. The drive-in was located three miles west of Ocean City. The sign, that's still barely visible today, used to be bright, flashy, and more than noticeable in its prime. The drive-in sits abandoned, overgrown, marshy, and untouched today. And I heard from someone who lives locally that it's for sale for somewhere around $3 million. Now, buried way back deep in the woods, the projection screen still stands. The original concession stand and the ticket booth, they're barely holding up, but all the major structures are still there. I would say probably for not much longer because the elements are really tearing all of it apart. After being vacant for more than 30 years, the only true remnants belonging to the Shore Drive-In are the memories of those who parked their cars in the lot and enjoyed all those movies at that nighttime hotspot. Looks like the remnants of a ticket booth. Now, as the wind blows, you can actually hear this piece of wood that's laying up against this tree creaking. So the only thing holding the rest of this building up is this little tree. <laughs> and some vines. But Not sure why there is a toilet assistance device here, but this is where you used to park. That is the post that had 
the audio on it. Look at that. All the wiring still there. That's kind of cool. I, I couldn't even begin to tell you what this is. There's outlets and like... Little rooms. I have to look and see if we can figure out what this is online, but that's the remnants of like a fireplace. Someone was sleeping on a cot. Lighting fixtures. Oh, I don't know. I can't even begin to tell you what that would be. But had to be some kind of old office building. I mean. another piece of the screen out here it's got to be of course there's a screen here on the back of this see it that's the same screening looks like a secondary screen or something I don't know going on out here but also stumbled upon the concessions anybody want a hot dog maybe some popcorn that is awesome oh someone made a teepee don't you're not beavis or butthead Ceiling is falling in there. Yeah, this had to have been concessions. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's a doorway. I'm guessing to the back room. Let me see if I can slip back in there. Yeah. Oh, yep, there's a freezer. This is definitely the back room. This is where they probably kept the ice cream. And there's a door back there, too. I don't know if you can see the light that goes outside. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a heater. Looks like. All right. A little chilly. Had to turn on the heat in here. It's kind of cool. All right, now I got to weave my way back out here so um give me a minute all right so i'm out let's go see if we can find the restrooms pink walls and hit yeah right i have to say this is a restroom one toilet there right there's the sink and the remnants of it the toilet 
kind of cool. Here's these doors I was telling you about. Oh, more latrines. That's right, I said latrine. Blue room, so I'm guessing men's room. There's the back side of that freezer I was telling you about. So it's a pricker bush around here. Look at this. These prickers are like size of number 10 nails, but this looks like it could have been yet another bathroom. door closer yeah it's another women's room probably it's pink <laughs> that's the door and a flower pot I mean you know there's no toilet so what else can you do saw that guy wire right there and that is the telephone pole where they brought power into the snack room yeah. the other side of the wall remember how they were telling you that styrofoam is bad and that it doesn't decompose and look at this huh still good Somebody dropped it off yesterday. Anyway, here's the rest of the wall. It goes all the way down. And I got a sneaky suspicion that that is the entrance way. But this whole wooded area was all where everyone parked to watch the video. It's crazy to think that this just started as overgrown grass. I mean, I'll prove it to you. I mean, look at the size of the trees in here, right? And there are two audio posts. One, and then all the way back there. I'm trying to get the camera to zoom, see it? All is overgrown grass. Look, there's another one right back there. And oh my God, I don't know if you can see it, it's way back there in the distance, but that is the movie screen. I'm gonna see if I can't get up there so you can get a better look at it. That is the movie screen in one very nasty moat. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get across that. Oh wait, there's a place to cross the moat because I'm sure not swimming in that. That is really awesome. Get up out of the sunlight so you can actually see it. There we go. Look at that. Rich Birdsall dies when movie screen falls on him. I mean, that's at least a cool death. Look at that. That is part of the screen. It's textured almost. You hear it? It's almost like uh, granite or something. It's definitely, it's like some kind of, here. It's like uh, rock almost. So that that's heavy. 
stuff in the air up there. It ain't wood. All right, so that is another episode of Abandoned. To kick it off the new season while I was on vacation. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You can do it right here. Or you can click subscribe on YouTube itself like this. You head straight over to YouTube. Then search for 98.1 The Hawk. And then you see this right here? This little subscribe button right there? Hit that bad boy. Then you'll be alerted every time we post a new video. And thanks again for tuning in to Season 2, Episode 1 of Abandoned. With me, Rich Birdsall.